took forever. Seven hours is way too long in this car. Is this it? Yep, looks like it. Turn that off, now. What do you think you're doing? This is a restricted government area, OK? GPS could track us. Turn it off. Look, completely off. I don't think you realise how risky this is. We can get into a lot of trouble if we get caught here. You really think someone's going to catch us out here? The place is deserted. We haven't seen anything or anyone in the last five hours. It doesn't matter. This place has been completely off limits, OK? We don't want to be leaving any electronic footprints. Come on, let's go. Yeah, take one of these. Just a precaution for the radiation. Okay, they told us to use it in Chernobyl. It's the best thing for us. This is so lifeless. What actually happened here? What made it like this? Well, I mean, it's all speculation. Nobody knows for sure. It was about 50 years ago, there was a massive spike in radiation worldwide, and everything pointed to this area. But it is safe, right? Oh, yeah, I mean, safer than it was. It's prolonged exposure that causes the damage. Well, only in a short time. That's why we took the precautions. It must be safe for now, right? I mean, this place has been abandoned for ages. Well, anyway, come on. This place? People used to live here? Sure did. There's a nuclear weapons facility just over the horizon there. That's the best lead we've got, so that's where we're going to head. There's a government owned, and uh, when the meltdown or whatever it is happened, well, it killed everyone inside. Why didn't everyone not know about this? Oh, national security. I mean, a facility like that, that needs to be keep, kept covered up, especially during the Cold War. And of course, when whatever happened, happened, no one couldn't exactly come clean about it, could they? I mean, that would have been death to any government. I mean, it's all speculation. Nobody knows for sure what has happened. The radiation is that high? Oh, either that or... They were covering something up. Right. Do you think it's wise to head towards the facility at this time? Why don't we just explore for now and come back later? What? And get pictures of dead trees? I don't think so. If that's where this started, that's where we're headed.
Bizarre. What was that? Some kind of bear? I guess so, yeah. Well, should we be aware of it, the bear? Oh, no. We'll be fine, huh? We keep out of its way. We keep out of it keeps out of our way. We're safe, we're fine. You see? I mean, if something's living around here, then it means the radiation levels are fine. Okay? Nothing to worry about. But surely the radiation levels are too high. Well, obviously not. I mean, there's something alive out here. Are you sure that was a bear? Possibly. Hmm. Come on. I've never heard a bear sound like that. What the hell was that? Christ knows. You saw that too, right? Yeah. Look, whatever it is, it's gone. It might have been a mutated bird. It's morphed from the radiation over the decades. Maybe. This doesn't feel right, Paul. We should go. This is what we're here for. If we get a photograph of that, our channel is gonna blow up. All right? Screw the nuclear facility. This is what we're after. No, no, no. This doesn't feel right. I'm going. Before you jump to what you will and won't do, eh? What can you tell me about it? 
Uh, there has been multiple reports of strange sightings. All describing something similar. What? A winged creature. Now these reports, they center around an abandoned, restricted government facility. What would we be expected to do? I want you to pick two members of your squad, two people you trust, okay? Mm -hmm. You will go immediately. This can't be like last time. Hey, 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 hey. Mistakes were made on both sides. Please tell me about it. This, however, I can assure you, will be a swift in and out job. And if we find the creature, what are we supposed to do with it? It can be retrieved alive or dead. Preferably alive. Once obtained, you contact me immediately. And what if it can't be obtained? Bring me back, Susie. Anything. We need to know what is going on there. It'll be done. That'll be all. So we literally didn't tell you more than that. Just go to an abandoned area and hunt a creature? Yep. And how are we supposed to know what to look for? This is so vague. Yeah, I know, I know. But it's always like this on covert ops. It's a need-to-know basis. We should be given every detail, no matter how trivial. I'm sure we'll figure it out. We're going to meet two people there who are going to have more information. By the way, there's no signal, so you can forget that on the phone. <laughs> Good morning. I'm Professor Stuart Poulton from Strad University. Uh, you must be the officers we were told to expect. Mm -hmm. Hello, Nicole. I'm sort of a local. I live a few miles away from here. Got in contact about the sightings. I'm a mountaineer, so I'll be able to help you with any tough terrain. How's your journey? Yeah, it's good. I'm Ness. Lexi. Libby. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Let us help. Hope you're doing Come on. Thank you for coming, and apologies you've been kept somewhat in the dark. It's not been without reason. We felt it best to brief you in person and to limit the spread of classified information. Why is a nuclear scientist here? Well, no doubt you're aware this entire area falls under a strict government control zone. Yeah, and it's been like that for like 30 years. Indeed, and will be for hundreds more to come. This area used to be a nuclear weapons facility, but in recent years has become repurposed for the storage of radioactive waste. What? You're quite safe, don't worry. The levels around here are not substantial enough to cause any significant level of harm. The radioactive waste itself is buried within the hills and mountains all around us. However, a consequence of this is that the whole area should be devoid of all wildlife. But there have been sightings here. Exactly, and it doesn't make sense. If something has evolved to withstand radiation exposure, then it could be of great scientific interest to us. However, if this is unearthed uh, unofficially, shall we say, it's a potential PR nightmare. So we've been recruited to search a radioactive zone and hunt 
into a mutated monster? No, absolutely not. Wait a moment. These pills are high strength potassium iodine. They protect against prolonged radiation exposure. Take these and the mission is little more than a wild animal hunt. Here, a map of the sightings in the area. So, we're at the epicenter of it. Here are a few sketches um, by eyewitness. Um, what are those? They wings? We don't know what it is. But it's your job to get out there and to bring it back. trust it. Look what happened last time I was told the exact same thing. Look, we'll be safe as long as we take the pills. Look what happened last time. Last time I was told the exact same thing. Look how far you've come. You were in a wheelchair and told you would never walk again. Hey, breathe. I promise you I will protect you. Won't be in danger. This is the last mission, and after it, I'm done. And it's up to you what you do. It's just like hunting a wild animal. We get in and we get out as quickly as possible. Do you think we should turn back? No. But it only needs one of us to go. Not all of us. Not necessarily. I don't think it's safe. The safest way forward is for us all to stay in a group. That means no wondering off on your own. Unless you know the protocol for this kind of thing. Where are you? Libby. I've just arrived. I won't be long. I'm just doing a recce while the others are asleep. Are you stupid? You've gone out there alone. I'm not going far. I'll be back in an hour. Just keep an eye out. Get back here, now. Not yet. I've almost arrived. I'm on my way. No, no, no. I need you to be my eyes around there. I'm, up. I'm fine, I'll be back soon. Right. Stay on the radio. What can you see? Heading east through the pass towards the mountain. It's like a wasteland. Hardly any signs of wildlife at all. Wait a minute. I think I see something.
What is it? It looks like... Looks like some sort of nest or something. And some sort of egg. Nest. Right, get back here now. We're gonna go as a group. Ness, are you listening to me? It is an egg. It's, it's huge. trouble. What's wrong? She's gone out alone. She's gone through the pass towards the mountains. She's found an egg and a nest. And now I can't get hold of her so she's either unconscious or she's been attacked. An egg? How can that be? Okay, I know what she will have got. Come on, we need to go, we need to go. Here, take this. Uh, to be safe for the radiation levels, hmm? I thought you said we'd be safe out there. It's just a precaution. Ness should have taken it and she should have known better. Take one of these pills. You don't think we're safe here, do you? It's just a precaution. Ness. Come on. I'm here with Nicole. Okay. No, 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 sorry. I'm gonna get you back to base, okay? It's Libby. I need to get her up now. Check that out. Oh, it's okay. Oh my God. Get her up, get her back to base. We can't just leave it there. It's a whole part of the mission. I'm not going to leave it, but we need to get her back safe. I need to be the one that handles this. She's going to take you back, okay? I'll get this back in my okay. case.
remarkable. How is this even possible? See here, the radiation levels are well above background. What do you mean? How will it survive here? The only plausible theory at this point is that the cells are regenerating at a much faster rate than those dying. But what does that mean? What, what will it look like? It could be a similar aging process to us. As the cells regenerate, they form an imperfect replica of the original. And over time, these accumulate. As the regeneration continues to deform, they'll evolve into an entire new species. One that we'll never have seen before. Even with the egg present, it's impossible to identify whether it is laid by reptile, bird, even insect. Whoa, whoa. An insect? I mean, a bird, yeah. I mean, an ostrich is that big, or a reptile, Komodo dragon, but an insect, really? Is it even safe to be around that? Well, the count is going mad. As long as we continue to take our pills, we're protected. The radiation exposure time isn't significant enough to cause any serious harm. So come on. Why are we being sent on a mission to retrieve this? Can't you see the applications? No, like what? Well, cancer for one. If we can figure out how to protect people from radiation exposure, then... then. This is groundbreaking. Oh. The biggest discovery of the last century. There's been no wildlife in this area for years. How this creature has evolved to survive this climate is breathtaking. And where did you find it? Just up on the mountains. By a pass, headed east. Is there anything else around? Not that I could see of. I mean, it just looked as though something had just left it there. But surely whatever left it there would, would go back to get it. You said, you said there was a nest? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it makes no sense. What have they looking for? Really, really need to speak to Peter. Is everything good between you both? To be honest, Lex, no. I think you resent the decision to keep me, Lex. And I get it. Mm. I should have made sure that I'd taken more time off. Been around more for both of them. You know, I think after this, you really should take some time off. You need it. <laughs> we all need it. Yeah. Do you think that's it then? You can go home? <coughs> I hope so. Because I don't want to be here any longer. No. We just need Ness to report the findings and, I don't know, hopefully, they'll decide that the egg's enough. Hmm. But until then, you keep away from it, Lex. I think that Stuart guy's underestimating how dangerous it really is. Okay. You got that? Thank you. Do you want one? Libby? I'm alright, thanks. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, I've been thinking. Mm. 
Why did you go up to the mountains on your own like that? I... I thought it was the three of us going. Well, I just thought it was a simple thing. Which it was, but I should have been more careful. Be more cautious on the mountains, but my temperature's fine. It's all good. You do know that me and Libby are here for a reason. You don't have to put yourself at risk like that. I didn't think I was putting myself at risk. Look, um, what happened before? I don't blame you. You know that, right? Sorry, the signal is really bad. I tried to call you earlier, but I couldn't get through. Peter. Peter, listen. I'm going to be coming back soon, all right? Things are going to be different this time, I promise. I'm going to make a point of being around more for you and Millie. OK? Peter? Peter, did you hear me? Just a cough. What's going on? I'm not sure.
you shouldn't go too close to it. That's fine. Just in case. The counter. It was going crazy when it was near it. And your body is still recovering. You all heard that too, right? Yeah. Or whatever it was. Good eyes. Where is it? Inside the house or? <coughs> yeah. I left it open to air the room. There was a musty smell from the egg when it was left in here. Great move. And now it's gone. Don't patronize me. You may have cost us far more than you realize. This shell, the egg, it should be enough evidence. It's not sufficient. We need the entire body, like the captain said. Dead or alive. How were we to know that it was going to hatch and escape? We don't know what we're dealing with here. We barely know where we are. We track it. Tonight, we get out there, we find it, and we bring it back. That thing is far too valuable to miss an opportunity like this. Get your things together. I'll be down in an hour. You all right? Yeah. I think I've just got a bit of a bug or something. Are you sure? Yeah. What time is it? Just after three. I'm sorry. It's okay. You don't look too well. What? Why don't you, you know, go back to bed or something just for a bit? No. Honestly, I'm fine. Just give me a few minutes, please. I'm um, just going to go and call Captain. Update him on the situation. I'll be down soon. All right. Typical animal, huh? I've never heard anything like it. Was it that thing? No, it was too loud. Whatever came out that egg couldn't have made that sound. You think there were more here? I think its parent wanted it back after it heard its cry. What's wrong? I don't think anybody else would be out here. I don't feel comfortable going out there now, sir. You knew the times when you were sent out. Is there a reason you cannot complete the mission now? Yes. One of my team is sick. I think we should stay put and wait until she feels better. No, you don't stop this for me. Hello, sir. It's Libby McKenna. Listen, it's nothing serious. We continue with the plan. What would you like us to do? Please. We came here for a reason, and we see it through. No, they're right. This could be a discovery of a lifetime. I'd be damned if anyone stops this, especially for my sake. Do you really think you could go out there like this? It's a flu. It's a flu. That's 
tell you if it were anything more than that, wouldn't I? So, tell us what you want us to do. We have two hours left before sunrise. Or whatever it is, it seems to be nocturnal. We could have gone into hiding by then. The Geiger counter. It's pretty fierce around here. Should we be worried? Come on, let's go. I'm just becoming a logistics officer now, then. You are a valued member of the team. Regardless of what anyone labels your job title as. Do you feel sorry for me or something? That's not it, Lex. I want to be asked to join a job because I'm valued and I'm needed on it. And you are needed. Well, it sure as hell doesn't feel like it. I am sorry for what happened to you. I am. I accepted that job. I knew the risks. <laughs> but you didn't. You didn't know the risks. None of us did. When we were stationed out there, none of us knew what we were getting ourselves into. Not Chris or any of the others. We always know of the risks. They knew. They didn't die in vain, just like what happened to me. It wasn't in vain. Can you check in on Libby? She doesn't look too good and she won't talk to me. Yeah. Libby? Oh, 
can you do anything? Look at me, look at me, look, look at me. Let me look at me. Whatever is going on in here, it's not real. It's, it's all that. He's waiting for us! It's coming. It's okay. It's okay. Shh, shh, shh. I don't think it's safe for us to be here. It's almost sunrise. We can head back then. No. We need to go back now. Can anyone read me? Hello? Nothing yet. I think they tried to make connection earlier, but didn't connect. Well, the minute they get back, we need to leave. We get Libby in the car, and we get away from here, and then we can call for help. What is it? Is she okay? There's something very wrong with her. She's, uh, she says she hears voices in her head. We can't leave her any longer. We, I mean, we need to get her seen by a professional or something. Do you think it was the radiation? Maybe she was, I don't know, exposed to it for too long? Uh, possibly. I mean, she hasn't been taking the pills. She's always so untrusting. She needs help. Come in. Can anyone hear me? Stuart, it's Lexi here. Is everything okay out there? Something is out here with us. I'm heading back to base. I'm nearly there.
Where did it attack here? Up in the mountains. We were close to where the eggs were found. And the cults only, we had, only had a little bit further to go. And then we heard it. Before long, it honed in on us. Do you think it followed you up there? I mean, could you have wandered into its nesting area? I'm not sure. Well, try and be sure. Because if it followed you up there, then it knows you are here. And after we took that thing's egg, it probably sees us as a threat. We were close to the eggs. We must have done something to disturb it. Christ, it followed me back here. It's out there now. Waiting for me to go back outside. What about Nicole? He attacked her. Is there any chance that she could still be alive? No. Do you have any idea what we're dealing with here? A cross between a vulture and a bat. A dragon. No. It was like the paper, like the sketches, the, the sightings. You think that there's a dragon living out in those mountains? And no one knows we're here. And it's angry. You're crazy. Listen to yourselves. It's, it's not a dragon, all right? It is not a dragon. It's, I don't know, some kind of bird uh, that's mutated because of the radiation levels. This isn't any bird, Ness. You went there. Size of it, skin. What we are hunting is far more dangerous than I imagined. So much for leaving. Right, well, we're gonna have to lay low, bide our time, and hope that it doesn't see us as a threat, leaves us alone. This isn't some stupid creature, Ness. It's intelligence. We took its offspring for Christ's sake. It could linger outside for days. It could get in here and kill us. It's like any animal with instinct. to kill any potential predator. Do you think that there are more of them? I think there might be. Yeah. What's up to the power? It's once you got back. Everything went out and now it's fluctuating. Right. Which means the landline's done. So we've got no means of communication. You've got your car outside though, right? Yeah, why? What is he for? The car had her keys with her, but you could get us out of here. We tell the officials what happened, get backup sent to put that thing down. Yeah, but what if there is more than one? We don't know what's out there, but whatever it is, they wanted us to find out for some reason. Libby, can, can you get dressed? thing is going to just leave of its own accord. You know, it's clever. But we do have one way of detecting it. 
we know that when it comes within a hundred foot, that it's just all signals and electronic devices. Within a 25 foot, the Gurkha counter fluctuates rapidly. Which means right now it's circling. Unless we're trapped. How's she doing? There's no change. She's still delirious. Right, well, we can't wait any longer. We need to get going. Um, I'm gonna try and call the captain again and see if he can send any assistance. Agreed. We can't risk Lippy getting any worse. Right, come with me. We need to take our chances and leave. With that thing waiting outside? We are isolated. We've got no means of communication. Lippy is getting worse. So are we. We're getting weaker by the hour. And it's the second we go outside, that thing kills us. I hardly think that's the best strategy for survival. No, it's not. He's right. All four of us going out there will be suicide. Has anybody got any better ideas? We need to distract it. She's right. Yeah. It can't keep tabs on all corners of the house. One of us needs to get out there far enough and call for help. Well, let's do it. No. Not yet. We need to put it to the test first. We need to be absolutely certain that that thing is out there waiting for us. Right. Let's use one of these. We'll light it, throw it outside, and see how it reacts. Sounds like our safest option so far. Right, I'm gonna go and assess Libby's condition. Libby? Hey, hey, hey. We're all getting ready. Do you think you can do that? Can you get ready? It's, it's gone. The, the noise, it, it stopped. What do you mean? Whatever I was hearing, it got worse when that thing was nearby. I can't, I can't hear it now, so that must mean the thing's gone. We, okay, Libby. I think you're getting radiation sickness. You need to take your pills. Be careful from now on. Okay, we've got a plan. We're gonna get out of here soon. Just, just get dressed and take the pills. Okay, see you soon. How was she? I don't know. Right. Well, the visibility is better from in there, so on the count of three, I'm going to throw this out. I need you two to keep your eyes on the flare. See if you can spot it. Okay. I'll be by the lounge window. I'll be by the side. We've only got one shot at this, so be vigilant. We need to know if it's still waiting. You set? Yeah, I'm on it. Ready. Let's do it.
one. Waiting. Like a vulture. Waiting for us to go outside. What are we gonna do now? There's no way we're gonna be able to outrun it. There's a chance we can't even kill it. Guns are gonna be useless against it. What about Libby? There's no way that was just the flu. Agree. I don't even think it was radiation sickness. We have to get out of here. This isn't a dumb animal. It excels at hunting trap prey. We have to leave. He's right. It's only a matter of time before that thing breaks in. Listen, if I can make it to your car, I can drive until I get a signal. Ness, if it follows me, you'll get reception back here. It can't be in two places at the same time. Absolutely not. I'm going. I need you to be the distraction, to grab its attention. You're much more adept with a firearm than I am. Yeah. If you can give me the go-ahead when to run, you can be at the window and tell me when it's safe. Sure. Please come back inside. 
inside this house. to trick it. Oh, Wait. The Geiger counter is showing a low reading. Ness, try the phone line now. You may be able to get through to the captain. It's ringing. Go. Go. not at all what we thought it was. It's killed two people already. We need your help, please. Where exactly are you? In the house. Hallway for the door. Okay. Go to the back door. Someone should be there to assist you soon. Tell the other two to keep an eye on that creature and stay safe. You need to go. Make sure all the doors and the windows are locked. Okay. I'm going to keep an eye out for that cut. Is over. We just, we just leave. Over. It's far from over. We need to see it in the wild. Not hunting a mouse under a rock. And why would we do that? 
You have a four minute handicap. If you stay, you die. If you leave, well, you have a chance to live. Now. Now, welcome to that front door. Upon hearing the sound of my whistle, you will have precisely three minutes of safety. No time to explain. We need to go. Come on. What? Where is the captain? It was a setup. That thing is a military machine. He's going to blow the whistle, and then we've got three minutes to get out before being attacked. Get up, please. I'm slowing you down. Come on. Come on. I'm leaving you. I am not leaving you. You need to go. Please get out of here now. You are I'm not leaving me. You are, you have to. Right. What? We have no choice. I am not leaving her.
you didn't do. Not so we could stay here. Stay here and die. Let's go on. Drop your weapon. On your knees. Where are the girls? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I am. How could you do this? Hold it, hold it. Wait there. Here it comes. Unnecessarily cruel and it's just malicious. This one, however, <laughs> top of the range. Oh! <laughs> 